So hello, welcome back. Today a video about the new new two tone poles. But before I start, I just have to mention that I have had four fantastic days in Belgium. What a beautiful, lovely country. I haven't been there for decades and we we have gone to the sea for four days with my wife and, and, and my two dogs, Karl and Friedrich. We had fantastic weather. The the food is incredible the seafood is so fresh and great the people are nice unbelievable and fantastic beer bit too much sun of course but but we have had four great lovely days thank you belgium for for four beautiful days so but that's not why why you are looking this video i think um we we talk about two new tone poets Let's start with Mr. Wayne Shorter, the all-seeing eye. And once more, you know, the second batch, I, I, I said it over and over and over again. I do it here again. <laughs> what a beautiful second batch. What a beautiful series we have here with the, with the stout and gatefold jackets. The beautiful remaster from Kevin Gray. And not not your your record you expect from mr wayne shorter in 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 a way um, it's probably his take on 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 spiritual jazz and and he does it together with freddie hubbard on the trumpet and flügelhorn alan shorter on the flügelhorn on uh, mephistopheles grachen mancour the third on the trombone James Spaulding on alto sax, Wayne Shorter on tenor sax, Herbie Hancock on the piano, Ron Carter on bass, and Joe Chambers on drums. And this is quite an experience, although not a very, very easy experience. You may be surprised if you don't know that, that album, of course, if you don't know that record, of course. It's sometimes quite out there, but I, I really, I really do love it. Maybe not on my morning coffee, but it's, it's, it's a fantastic, fantastic listening. And, and one, at least for me, of the, of the rare occurrences of Gretchen Moncour the third on the trombone. And I, I really, what I've heard from him so far, his records where he participates or where he leads are top-notch outstanding guy the complete session took place in 1966 beautiful photo of of of, of uh, uh, Wayne Shorter by the way and it's not much to say about the tone poet quality uh, uh, I think we all we all know them by now we all know what to expect and this release doesn't uh, 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 disappoint for sure. We have our beautiful flat 180 gram vinyl pressed over at RTI. So, great one, great one once more. And again, one of those, one of those titles, you know, one of those titles where it's so great that we, that we have them now and, and can get them now uh, easily for, for at least a couple of weeks or maybe even months. So, great one. Thanks again for, for giving this title to us again. Wayne Shorter, The All-Seeing Eye. And there is a second one. And again. Wow. Wow. It's Lee Kunitz plays with the Gary Mulligan Quartet. Look at that cover art. They really did it in that time. And that time is it's an early one. It's 1953. It's recorded on February 1953. The, the, the uh, other ses two sessions and the second session was in January the 25th. Oh no, it's three sessions, excuse me. January the 25th, 1953, and the 30th of January, 1953. And this is one of those Pacific 
Jazz Releases. World Pacific Records, Pacific Jazz Series. Like the Chad Baker Sings and I think like the, and I can't wait for this title, <laughs> like the Chad Baker and, uh, uh, um, oh come on, Art Pepper, the, uh, which is uh, about to come. They have to uh, announce the release date. And we have here Lee Kunitz, of course, because he plays with the Gary Mulligan Quartet and we have next to Lee Kunitz on alto sax, we have Gary Mulligan on the baritone sax, we have Chad Baker on the trumpet, we have Larry Bunker on the drums, Carson Smith or Joe Mandragon, depends on the title, on bass. And what really strikes me and, and which is an unbelievable beautiful listening to me is side two. Side two has some some live recorded tracks in a very small room, I think. A very beautiful, intimate, narrow sound stage, which is a very good thing in this case. Very personal, very private, really beautiful, beautiful once more beautiful surprise to me because I didn't know. I haven't never listened to this album before. But again, one of those titles where I am so happy that we have them. This is a single jacket release. We don't have a gatefold here due to the lack of session photos probably, but we have some photos on, 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 the, on the back side. You can see them it's here, I hope. And for people like me who are not into jazz since decades and um, this is so beautiful, of course, those are blind buys in a way. The, the, the Tone Poet series give me some assurance that I don't get a terrible record in by any means, but that's also so beautiful to be surprised and, and listen to one and say, wow, that's, that's cool. I didn't like the first song, but, but the rest was, oh my God, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, as I said, I really can't wait for the for the Chad Baker and Art Pepper. I hope they put them out early. So this is my take, my small take, just a little show off of the of the two actual new tone ports which came out I think on the last Friday. And uh, next video, not not probably not probably not the very next. This will maybe be uh, uh, the Errol Garner box set. But then the video will be about the new classic series and the titles they announced. Uh, for the second batch of the uh, classic series because I found the title choice quite interesting and, and mm, uh, maybe we, I, I, well, I, I like to share some, some thoughts with you about this upcoming classic series titles and, and of course the two new ones, the uh, Herbie Hancock, Maiden, Borage and the Out to Lunch, Pah, great titles great title. Okay, that's it shortly in a nutshell for today. Thank you for, for watching this video. See you. Bye.